you have your nori here. Okay. And we've got a sushi mat. And so this you is made out of seaweed, right? It is okay. seaweed, yeah. You might be a little bit of a cat whisperer, though. She's starting to calm down a little, Chris. We're a little bit sweaty here. I'm joined by Lisa. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. How was your workout? It was wonderful. Thanks so much. Well, it is International Assistance Dog Week, and today Faith Johnson is back with the Guide Dogs for the Blind program. She joins us with her pup in training, Miss Malta, and today she is going to demonstrate some proper home behaviors with a service animal. Most cities, including right here in Central Texas, urge residents to spay and microchip their animals. In fact, it's a law in the Hewitt, Waco, and Colleen areas. How sweet, though. After 10 years, can you believe that? Getting that phone call saying, hey, we have your dog. Heritage Creamery can be found all around town in Waco, but soon they will be opening the doors to their very own shop. Dustin Patterson and Blake Batson are here to tell us all about it. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. You go, girl. Yeah, I'm glad, that. glad they could share that moment. That's good. They're having fun. Oh, that's great. And mom videotaped that, of course. Yeah. You had to share that moment. This is perfect for a day like today where we have triple digit temperatures, right, Chris? Oh my goodness. Now, how big would an adult cat like this get? Is he full grown? Jane Lonsdale sat down with cast member Perry Gilpin to talk about the new gig, her past days on the hit show Frasier. Remember his Roz? Yes, yeah, she was Loved the best that on character. that show. Love that character and her ties to Central Texas. You may remember her as the sassy radio show producer Roz Doyle from NBC's hit comedy Frasier. Let's go to our first caller. We have Scott on line two. <laughs> But Perry Gilpin's life journey began right here in Central Texas. Born to Baylor parents at Hillcrest Hospital in Waco and weighing in at just over 10 pounds. I think she was in labor for like two weeks or something. I can't remember what she said, but it was a really long time. From there, the family moved to Dallas, where Gilpin was bit by the show business bug. Dallas was very active. There were a lot of commercials shot here, so everybody was working all the time. Gilpin would go on to become successful in numerous TV productions, and now she's back on NBC's brand new comedy, Mr. Robinson. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special lady in the house tonight. I love you, Craig. Not you, baby. Comedian Craig Robinson plays a musician in his band Nasty Delicious, who suddenly lands a substitute teaching position where the love of his life works. Perry plays the school principal. But I can see, and, and, and the audience can see too, he is so gifted with the kids. Gilpin's character, once burned by a musician herself, is cautious of Robinson's actual intentions. I think my character is thinking, wow, you know, I hope nobody gets hurt in this situation because these kids are really loving what he's bringing to the table here. The Frasier vet says she feels comfortable on set and in her newly acquired role. I think it was written for me in some ways. You know, it just was a good fit. Mm -hmm. And it was really, as we say, in our, my wheelhouse. There are even ties to her former NBC hit. Kelsey Grammer's daughter Spencer has a role in the comedy, and Craig Robinson wants the show to have that familiar funny feel for viewers. It's after we shot the pilot, he was like, um, was this anything like Frasier? <laughs> so cute. And I go, I go, yeah, it was, it is. You know, and he goes, I'm exhausted. And I go, good, you're supposed to be. You can catch Mr. Robinson every Wednesday on KCEN HD at 8 p.m.